Hi, in this video we will be modeling a table and then adding some wooden texture to it. All this inside of Blender 2.8. So let's get started. So open up Blender, then select the default cube, press X to delete it. Now we are going to add a cylinder and change the vertices to something like 75. And after that press 1 on the numpad to go into the side view then press S to scale it down something like this after that you can select it and then press S Z and just scale it up along the Z axis after that let's select it and press tab to go into the edit mode now let's go into the wireframe mode and we can select the top vertices by pressing the B for box select then E to extrude and just extrude it along the Z axis after that press S to scale it up then again E along the Z axis something like this and we are going to do the same thing so E C and then S and again E Z just like this now let's select the top vertices by using the box select then press ctrl B and just bevel it a little bit something like this now again press P and select all the vertices which you just beveled and after that press S and just scale it up you can scale it inside or outside however you want just like this so now you can press tab and let's go to the solid mode and over here you can see that we have a nice table so let's quickly add some texture to it so let's change it to shader editor click on new and after that search for noise texture then press shift a and then search for color m and just input the color to factor and the color to base color after that if you are using node wrangler you can press ctrl t to get the mapping and texture coordinate node and if you are not using it you can just simply press the shift a and then search for mapping and you can manually map the vector and then texture coordinate just like this so now if i go back to the rendered view so here you can see that we have the noise pattern so you can crank up the value something like this and somewhere around here and let's change this white color to something like dark brown like this and you can change the scale to something like 5 and let's change the z scale to 15 you can also play around with the details and you can make it darker by using the color ram sliders so just play around with the values to give it different texture something like this and now you have added some wooden texture to it now you can add a plane just scale it up select the table press gz just place it on top of the plane and you can add some lighting crank up its intensity just soften the shadow and you can also enable ambient occlusion just play around with the lights until you get what look you are going for and after that you can add some colors to the light as well and you can also play around with the roughness if you want the reflections to be visible in the table and let's add some clear coat to it just like this so there you go now you have your table